Hello everybody, this is Reviews and More, back with another quick review. This is on the Dr. Grip by Pilot Center of Gravity. So this is one of their offshoots of the Dr. Grip brand from Pilot. This is a type of pen, pen or pencil, depending you know what you get, that I have been wanting for a very, very long time. In fact, I wanted one really bad when I was back in middle school, way back in the day, and they were super expensive at the time. I think at CVS, they were like 15 bucks, although now you can get them online for under 10, depending on what Amazon listing you find them on. I think the Pilot Store actually has them for like 850, depending on what color you want. This one's obviously purple, and I think it was like 8 50 or something like that on Amazon. I think on the actual pilot website it's about 1050, but I think you can get it cheaper on Amazon at the moment, even though it is the pilot store on Amazon. There you see me testing the actual center of gravity. It, it, it has that name for a reason. It's because it is weighted and balanced very well for the center for writing ease of use. It also has various certifications from good housekeeping, and probably more importantly, it has the ease of youth use certification from the arthritis foundation for those who are having arthritis issues in their hands which is pretty awesome and does a good job if you want to know what's inside of it it is a special made for the pen um, actual ink well so uh, normally the other dr grips in their series of dr grip pens they have use the same replacement inks as the g2 pilots those big thick gel ink things i'll show you in just a moment what that looks like and you can actually replace those interchangeably however with these because there is an effort to make sure that there's weighting and balancing that is a little bit better you have a much smaller replacement ink right there if you just take a quick look at it, you'll notice it is a good bit shorter and in just a moment you'll see a side-by-side -side comparison as soon as I finish dropping everything and editing, editing this video poorly so there's not a bunch of downtime but overall it is an exceptionally good writing pen um, the only flaw I saw and that's only with certain types of writing if you are someone who writes at a very very low angle you might see a little bit of bleeding and scratching but if you are a standard writer who doesn't have any kind of like weird uh, persnickety writing style you will have very good results here's a nice close-up with the macro lens just so you can see what the writing looks like very very close up it is very smooth it rolls on very nicely it is a very very fast writing pen which some people like you might not like that most people who use gel pens want the quick glide that you see there you see a little bit of splaying as I'm kind of rolling through the actual ink that's not so much an issue with the rolling on it's more of an issue of how I'm testing it as you write out letters and script you'll notice that there's not a whole lot of bleed over there's not a whole lot of artifacts on the sides or in the middle you won't see a whole lot of dripping or dropping and mo probably most importantly you won't see any skipping um, this is a medium uh, size so I'm, I think that's a 0.7 is what the actual uh, millimeter rating is on this and you'll see very little skipping a little bit of smudging that's more my writing style than it is anything else um, again this is all very very smooth the ink runs very very easily easy and overall very very satisfying and the replacements for it only about 350 for two so you can replace the ink in this pen very very cost effectively once you get the actual pen itself which again is a very very pleasant experience writing with other than that thank you so much for watching and have a great day